A question I get asked by riders sometimes is, surely I just need more practice, if only I could ride more. My problem is I just don't get in the saddle enough and I need more practice. Well, it is true that you need a lot of practice to ride well. The story is that it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become elite at any skill. But the real key is what kind of practice? Because very often people are out there practicing doing it wrong. And practice makes perfect, not what you think you're practicing or what you ought to be practicing, but what you're actually practicing. And that means that only perfect practice makes perfect. So getting more practice on its own, getting more hours in the saddle may just make you rather better at doing it wrong. You can practice bumping till you bump perfectly. So before practice really becomes the deal, you have to have a really good pattern that is worth practicing. And that won't be the whole big piece. It will be a small little chunk, what I think was a bite-sized chunk, a possible next step, an aha, where you've noticed, oh, I tend to do so-and-so, that's what happens. I hold my breath, I curl my toes, I round my back, I take my thighs off the saddle. And once you find one of those, the fix for that is what you need to practice. Of course, it takes many, many ahas, many, many fixes, many, many hours of practice. And sometimes you think you're really on the track of something and then you forget about it. And maybe weeks, months, or even years later, your body gets in that place and you go, oh, I had this at one point and I lost it. So keeping track of these pieces, as you practice them, keeping track of how much is enough. Because actually you can take even a good thing to overkill to the point where it becomes a bad thing. You might feel that you need to practice, for instance, leaning back more. I get riders who come into my arena and say, I have this terrible problem, I really tip forward. And then I watch them in walk and I think, yeah, actually she's leaning back. And I watch them in trot and I think, mm, she's still too far back. And Chances are it might be that if they go to canter they get a panic moment and they do lean too much forward and maybe they did once upon a time lean forward but they solved their problem but didn't even know they solved their problem so they kept practicing into overkill. It's like a recipe and they thought flour, 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 flour till they had so much flour their cake wouldn't rise. So it's all about what you're practicing where you are in that stage of repetitions before it becomes the new norm, not practicing it to the point of overkill, having somebody's eyes on you can really help you know that, but actually at some point your horse is going to say, hey dummy, you just lost that thing you were practicing, you've got another problem now, and it's really a case of being smart enough to figure that out. So it takes way, way more subtlety and organisation than just more hours in the saddle. It's the quality, if not more than the quantity, that really counts.